Hey guys, hope you are doing good. Welcome back to another interesting lead code question this time. And on the request of some of our viewers, I've also pasted the create and insert statements in the description. Do check that out and try it for yourself, okay? So we have a table here where we have five IDs, one, two, three, four, five, and P underscore ID is basically the parent ID, okay? So one does not have a parent, as you see it's null. Two's parent is one. Three's parent is also one. 4 and 5, their parent is 2, okay. Now the question goes like this. So if there is no parent, then call it root, okay. For example, 1 does not have a parent. So for 1, we have to call it root. If there is parent and if there is also children, then we have to call it inner. Let us consider 2. 2 has a parent 1, okay. The same time, 2 also has children 4, 5, right. So 2 should be called inner. If there is only parent, then we can call it leaf. So for example, three, four, five, they have only parent, right? They do not have children in the data. We can call them leaf. How do we do that in SQL, okay? It's a pretty straightforward question using case statement. Let's see how to tackle it, okay? So I'll select the ID, okay? We wanna obviously show the ID. And now comes the important part, okay? So first up, if there is no parent, then it is root, okay? That is straightforward. So we could say case when p underscore id is null, right? Then I call it root, okay? So this part is simple, right? First part. Second part, if there is parent and it also has children, okay? So if there is parent, what will happen? So when p underscore id is not null, right? This means there is parent and here is the tricky part, okay? The id, right? In this case, two should also be present in this column, right? Because that means that it also has children. So we can say id in select distinct p underscore id from the table. As simple as that. What this will do is it will check if the id, the you know values in the id column, if they reoccur in the p id column, okay? So when you see this statement together, parent id should not be null and the id value should also be present in the p underscore id column then only two will satisfy that condition right so that's it then we could say then uh, this is called inner right so i'll say inner then when for the third one so here we have only three conditions so we could say when p id is not null and uh, kind of repeat the negation of this condition but since there are only three conditions we could say else directly so i could say else call it leaf okay and in dash i will give it a name say type okay so first case to recap when parent id is null then directly you can call it root when parent id is not null and at the same time the id value occurs in the parent column as well then it's inner in this case, two will come in that category. If not else, leaf, okay? Then end as I give it a name type. Let's run this. So we get one as you remember, did not have a parent, so it is root. Two had a parent and also had children, so it is inner. Three, four, five are leaf because they just have parents. They do not have children, okay? Very simple, but very powerful question commonly asked in tech companies. Do practice it. I'll see you again in another video. Till then, bye.